Hi boys and girls, so today with our writing, we are going to be adding in word choice and our voice into our writing assignment from yesterday. Now if you forgot what it means to have voice and word choice, make sure that you watch these two videos I posted on the website just to help you. With word choice, we have what's called describing words, and we also have onomatopoeia, and these words can help enhance your writing just to make it a little more interesting and a little bit stronger. Um, so watch those videos before you do your assignment, um, as well as, you know, currently watching this video. Um, then what we're going to do is you're going to click on your assignment, and just like I showed you guys yesterday, when you click on it, you have your two options. Now remember, you do not have to do both. You're only going to click on the team that you chose. So if you chose Team Sweet, and that's what you wrote about yesterday, then you're going to click on that same assignment and continue working on it today. If you chose Team Sour, you're going to choose Team Sour and continue working on it from yesterday. So I chose Team Sour, so I would click here and open up my assignment, which you can see right here. And this is what we wrote about yesterday. Now when I do this assignment, my goal today is to go through my writing and add better words. Just ways to make my writing a little more interesting. So I might say like in this first sentence, in my opinion I would choose Team Sour as the best candy. Now I use the word best a lot, maybe you could think of a different word over best, like one that could be like just something a little bit more interesting or a little bit stronger. So maybe I might say um, I chose Team Sour as the most, in my opinion, I would choose Team Sour um, as the most fantastic candy choice. Okay, and you can see that by adding just these simple words, it kind of helps my writing. I'm just going to turn it in a different color so you guys can see it. And it just helps so that you can, uh, it just helps enhance the writing and like make it a little bit stronger and a little more fun. And then I can keep going on. And one thing I want to challenge you guys with is adding at least one onomatopoeia word. And remember with that, those types of words, those are words that really catch your reader's eye. It's something that they can like almost like hear a sound without actually hearing it because it's on the page. They read it and they know what it means. So first, I love that my cheeks pucker when I eat sour candy. So maybe I can try to add an onomatopoeia here. Um, maybe I just go, let's see. First, I love that my cheeks pucker when I eat sour candy. And then maybe I add like an onomatopoeia word. Hey, cheeks. Right here. I love that my cheeks pop and pucker when I eat sour candy. So I added an onomatopoeia word right here of the word pop which helps show like, you know, like that popping sound of like, you know, that kind of sound when it gets all like in your cheeks and you hear it. Yeah, and it just, you know, you can't help it because your cheeks are pushed together. And so I added my onomatopoeia word right there. Um, and again, um, just keep adding words. And if you can think of more than one onomatopoeia word, please do it. But I would like to challenge you to at least use one. Um, next, I like the flavors. This sentence is kind of boring. I could add a little bit more. Maybe I can add something like, next, I like the tangy, um, sour bursting flavors. All right, okay. There you go. Next, I like the tangy, sour, bursting flavor. So then again, you can see that I added just a little bit more to my writing just to help it be a little bit more um, pizzazz, a little more fun. 
Okay, I'm gonna keep doing that. Let's see, last I like men. Uh, next, I like the many choices of sour candy. Next, I like the. Next, I like the the amount of choices. That sour candy has to offer. So instead of many, I used the amount. It's just like kind of something a little bit bigger, a little bit more. Um, and then I just added this as to, oops, I should say has not as, has to offer. I added that part just to kind of clarify a few things. So, um, and then in conclusion, that is why I like sour candy best of all. So just added just a little bit more here at the end. Okay. So that's just some ways that you can add some word choice and voice into your writing. I'm just it's it's you coming out in your writing and just helping your writing be a little bit more um, give it a little more flair, make it a little stronger, a little more interesting to read. So that is your assignment for today and I would like you guys to you know add at least one or two words into each section um, just to help each piece just be a little stronger. Um, and if you'd like, you can do what I did and highlight those words in a different color to help your teacher see what you added. Um, if not, that's okay. It does kind of show on your on your teacher side of things. She can see what edits you make to your writing. Um, but overall, that's kind of what I would like you guys to do today and make sure that you know you're really giving this a try. And um, don't be shy to add things in and just make it more fun. And that's what I expect of you guys today. Good luck, and I can't wait to read it.